just a reverser really quick. What 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 do you think Miami has on FSU that they can on their end take advantage of Saturday night? Number one has to be the defensive line. Defensive line has to win. They have to win, and it's pretty much every play. Um, been really great on tackles for loss. Been really great um, creating havoc in the backfield, uh, whether that's passing plays or running plays. But the defensive, as Miami's defensive line performs, so will the game go, I believe. Um, and then on offense, honestly and truly, if Tyler's not playing, I don't see it. I really don't. Um, I think that, and I would hope that Jake Garcia could prove me wrong. And I've been proven wrong a couple times this season with some of these things, but I just think that this is a, a bridge too far for him at this point. Um, and then that's going to eliminate or lessen the impact of the running game because clearly forever the opposing paradigm of defenses, you know, playing Miami is we're going to crash to the run and we're going to make you beat us in the passing game. Nobody really gets separation and the offensive line isn't good enough to give enough time for play after play after play this season that upon further review or even live during the game, you've seen that's a touchdown. That that is a touchdown play. You're doing a what? It was two games ago. We ran um, a post with a we, post wheel combo with Henry Parrish coming out of the backfield as the wheel, butt naked, wide open. The linebacker got stuck at three yards. He's nowhere near Henry Parrish. This is a wide open. I mean, like nobody else in the picture touchdown. Tyler Van Dyke gets sacked before he even has a chance to step up and look at him to have let that develop. Uh, and so I think the same thing is going to be the case with Jake Garcia crashing into the run. R- wide receivers don't get separation. Well-designed and well-timed plays, which have guys running free, are killed because multiple – well, it can be one person just missing their block on the defensive line or the collective doesn't do their job. Um, yeah, and I mean, I, I see what – I see what Gaddis wants to do, but I do not believe that we have the players to perform the duties to make that happen. But I would say, okay, if you have Tyler back there, you're going to put him in shotgun. It's kind of going to be like, I don't know, when y'all were beating us six years in a row and we had like Brad Kaya up there, you know, and he threw for, oh, seven. Okay, cool. Um, And it was, let me see, this is 22. So that had to have been 15. I want to say, and he threw for like 400 yards and we ran for like 37. I think it would have to be something like that from Tyler, who has a not 500, but 496 followed by 400, you know, back to back games. He hasn't played since then, but I think it would need to be something like that for him. Just look, I'm going to dot you up. I'm going to throw it 55 times. I'm going to try to hit Will Mallory, Xavier Restrepo, Colby Young stepping into the wide receiver one role on the outside. Uh, Keyshawn Smith, my guy from San Diego, uh, finding a way to impact the game. Uh, you know, we're just going to we're gonna do that and uh, just rotate between those guys, you know, flex in a little bit of Jaleel Skinner or something. That, I think, is the path to a positive performance for Miami. But, again, I don't think Tyler's going to play. And if he doesn't play, I don't think that Jake Garcia is ready to have that same kind of performance in replacement. I was going to ask, what's the percentage chance on your end of thinking that TVD will play legitimately? Legitimately, right now, I guess. zero. I don't. I do not believe Mario Cristobal. I don't. I really don't because there's six players who are out for the year, and like, <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll see. And they're they're working through something. And da, 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 da. oh, he has the um the ACL reconstructive uh, knee brace on. The day after, or sorry, not the day, because the last time you hear about from Mario is on a Wednesday. So four days later, you know, and this is Trevante Citizen, the running back. Uh, so, like, oh, you know, we'll see. Da, 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 da. And then he has, yeah, like the, the immobilization brace on as he's crutching on the sideline. Fam, you just said we're working through it day by day. And this man clearly is going to take eight months to relearn how to walk. I'm supposed to believe you now all of a sudden that Tyler's going to play? I'll believe it when I see it. 